All right, you got your boy, Boss Bella. This is Swagger Dagger TV, brought to you by KBN Records. So the other day I did a video uh, commenting on a basketball player named Kyrie Irving, who allegedly threw a yacht boat party, or whatever you want to call it, and instructed his attendees not to bring any black females or females of African-American descent. Now... Uh, in response to that video, I got a lot of hate. Uh, people were calling me names. The one thing that kept resurfacing over and over again was this one word. Um, it's simp. It's S-I-M-P. And a simp is a man that puts himself in a subservient or a submissive position under women in hopes of winning them over when that woman brings absolutely nothing to the table. Or it's a man that puts uh, too much value on a female for no reason at all. Now, my video was basically questioning whether or not Kyrie Irving had indeed threw a yacht party and instructed his fellow uh, attendees not to bring any black women, uh, uh, black women at all. And so for you out there using the term simp, how could I be placing too much value on a woman that brings nothing to the table when in all arguments, uh, for argument's sake, the women that he chose not to, uh, or he allegedly chose to not attend his party bring a lot to the table. Now, um, a lot of people said things about black women in response to my video. They said that black women were too violent and that they had too many baby daddies. Okay, to the first point about black women being too uh, violent, I don't know if you know this, right, but it's more black men in prison for uh, violent things than there are women in prison uh, by more than threefold. So that argument on its face cannot stick. And when you say that black women have too many baby daddies, well, who gives them the babies? Like, they don't just magically make a baby themselves and then have it, and it's just a baby. Like, that's the problem with us, is that we don't take responsibility for our own actions. We impregnate these women, and then we leave them. Now, I'm not saying that every African-American male does this, and I realize that due to slavery and the welfare system and the criminal justice system, that we cannot always be there for uh, our children the way we want to be. So I understand that that is like one point I will always stick to. But at the same time, you cannot sit around and say that black women are too violent or that they have too many baby daddies. And another thing is that they said that uh, black women have bad bodies and they're out of shape and they don't know their place. Well, what place is it for a woman in this world? And what place is it for an African-American woman in this world? Especially when we have the type of women that's working, taking care of kids, going to college, going to school, doing everything themselves in many cases, and there's no man in the household. And so they have to raise a man alone, which leads to more men in the penal system because a, a, a boy growing up without his father is two to three times more likely to end up in the penal system than a, a man who grew up with a father. So that's the point that we need to uh, keep in mind. And then another thing, this is just a, a point that some people uh, said. They said that in the, in the video that I saw or in the video that they saw that Kyrie Irving did have black females, in fact, on the boat. Now, I have not seen that. I've gone to several videos. I have not seen black women. What I did see was a darker-skinned woman who may have been of Armenian descent. Um, they tend to be darker or she could have been Latina uh, from a place like Dominican Republic uh, I understand that Latinos can be black or white in some cases in some instances so uh, but to that point if you have to sit here and cherry pick through a video to find an African American woman maybe it's true that he said do not invite African American women to his vote but nonetheless I still sit here and I think it is his own personal choice but at what point do we say we have to make a difference, we have to make a change? It starts here in the mind and in the household. We cannot defend the person who intentionally said, don't bring black women to my party. And then some people said, well, black women didn't mess with him when he, was, uh, when he wasn't famous, uh, so now that he is famous, they shouldn't mess with him. The same thing that a black woman can bring, to, uh, a white woman or any other type of uh, race of woman can bring to the table, so can an African-American woman. What I notice is this. We use all of these arguments to say why we don't love our own women and why we don't love ourselves. 
choosing to not invite somebody who comes from the same descent as you uh, is self-hatred. You wouldn't ever hear a Mexican saying, don't invite Mexicans to my party. Or you wouldn't hear uh, an Arab saying, don't invite somebody of Arab descent to my party. Or anybody of Arab descent to my party. You would never hear those things coming from a Jewish person. Now, I'm not saying that we as black people have to be like other races. But what I'm saying is that we have to appreciate who we are as people. So when you use these terms simp or you say that black women are violent, too many baby daddies, you are straying away from the fact, which is the point, which is Kyrie Irving is contributing to the descent and separation of black people in America uh, through color coding. This is what I call it. The color code in African Americans exist because we were taught to hate this dark skin that we have. I'm so proud to be a dark skinned African American male. I'm proud of myself. I'm proud of who I am. This skin tone won't change overnight and I don't expect it to. I won't dab myself. I won't go into a, a, a salon and tell them or wherever you go and tell them I want to be light skinned. We put too much value on the color of skin and not enough value on the person within that skin. And moreover, black people, we are a range of colors. We are everything from super dark skin to super light skin, from frizzy hair to straight hair to hair like mine. We have to embrace our differences as a people and not discriminate against one, one another, period. And there's no room for a celebrity who says black women are not allowed to come on this boat, whether he's black, white, Mexican, Latino from Cuba, I don't care where he's from, it's no excuse for that type of behavior. So you can hate me for pointing out the facts and the truth of the matter, but at the end of the day, you can do nothing but agree that my points are strong, valid, and relevant. And at the end of the day, that relevancy and when I and, and what I'm speaking, that relevancy will eventually make a difference because we have to have people like this out there that can think past gold. So if you want to comment on my YouTube page, don't call me out of my name using words like simp or using hateful terminology and saying that um, I sound like Sweet Tea. I never heard Sweet Tea speak, so I don't know what Sweet Tea sounds like. But you won't change my opinion by saying simp because, like I said, I looked the word up and it means absolutely nothing to me because I value black women. I love them. I have two black women that happen to be my daughters, and I love them to death. At the end of the day, um, much love to the fans who support me and to those who don't, much love to you too. Because without the haters, you can't see the good in me. I can't shine like I want to without you hating on me. So continue to watch my videos. This is your boy, Boss Billa, Swagger Dagger TV, Shattown, KBN Records. Man, I love y'all. One.